The argument this morning was about severability. That's the issue of if the court finds any parts of the uh, Obamacare law unconstitutional, will they only uh, cut out or excise those particular provisions or will the entire law be uh, struck down as unconstitutional? Just like yesterday, I don't think the government had a, had a good day. Uh, and I think from the questioning of the justices, there's a very good chance that uh, if they find, for example, the individual mandate to be unconstitutional, they might strike down the uh, rest of the law. Um, Paul Clement, who is the lawyer for the challengers, made the point that uh, the individual mandate is so tied in to other parts of the uh, law. For, ex for example, the guaranteed issue, the community ratings that are being imposed on insurance companies, that uh, it's an essential part of the law. And without it, the, the Obamacare law is a hollow shell. I mean, that's the language he used. And I, I think other justices from their questioning seem to think that uh, he, he made a very good argument on that point. Based on the last three days of arguments, uh, I, I think the probability is uh, anywhere from 60, 70 percent that it is going to get struck down. Strike it down! 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 Strike it down!